This share came in to me a little while ago today. Sorry for the shakiness of this. I don't have a tripod. I just want you to listen to what this thinner is doing as I open it. Let's wait for that phone to stop ringing. As soon as I open this up, listen. You can hear that pop right out. You can see right here that that blade is wanting to strike that first tooth. I really can't go ahead and close this shear again because I'm holding the video camera. Let me drop this down though and just show you a couple things. One is, is this tooth is bent inward quite severely. Um, to deal with this issue, really the only w two things you could do is try and either bend that tooth back up or you could work it on a water stone and hopefully be able to flatten out the inside of that hollowed out area to where the blade would be able to bypass that tooth. Um, you could do a little bit of ramp uh, in the back side as well to get the tooth to get the blade started but this this tooth has been pretty badly upwards I really can't tell if you can see this it, it's very evident ah there you go that's not too bad you can see that's quite a bend that's in there um, so realistically what I'm what I'm doing with this one this was a set of three scissors that was sent to me by a sharpener and uh, he wanted to uh, have me sharpen them for him I sharpened the other two, and both of them were severely nicked, and um, I'll be doing an article about that in On the Edge uh, sometime in the first, uh, either January or February, just to show uh, the level of damage that was done in that shear. Uh, but the, this shear here, uh, really, I'm just going to return this back to the sharpener. The sharpener is going to have to have some pretty in-depth discussion with their customer before I'll touch this, because I can't talk directly to their customer. Um, there's a chance that that tooth could break. If I bend it back, there's also a chance that I could spend an exorbitant amount of time trying to um, sharpen the scissor and then end up with no result whatsoever. And uh, I'm better off, really, in this case, probably selling another shear to this customer, uh, even if it was a, at a reduced cost. Uh, so just a suggestion, sometimes you have to know when to walk away. This would be a good example of when to either walk away if you can't communicate with the customer or for sure make sure you have some understanding with the customer that something very bad could happen to the shear in the process of trying to sharpen it. So just keep that in mind and if you have any questions just give me a call.